and thank you for tuning in to Kidney Care Coaching. In today's video, I'm going to discuss what is potassium, what is a norm, normal potassium range, what foods are high in potassium, what symptoms kidney patients may exhibit when their potassium level is too high, and in the last part of the video, I'm going to discuss, is it possible for patients to die from potassium being too high or too low? Let me get started. First of all, potassium is one of the most important minerals in our body. Potassium is responsible for fluid balance, nerve signals, and assists with muscle contractions in the body. Normal serum, serum potassium is between three and a half to five and a half milli equivalents per liter. That's the normal range our body loves to have our potassium. Potassium below that can cause serious problems. Potassium well above 5.5 can also cause serious problems. Some of the symptoms patients may experience when their potassium levels are too high are acute onset of muscle weakness. Some patients have experienced tingling, twitching, just a whole host of symptoms that try to alert the patient that something is not right. And some foods that are high in potassium include potatoes, orange, oranges, bananas, tomatoes, and any foods made from those are going to be very high in potassium. So most kidney patients and dialysis patients are encouraged to adhere to 2,000 milligrams of potassium per day in their diet. And patients will always ask, well, what can I do to bring my potassium level down, Stephanie? What can I do to control my potassium? Well, there are a few things that you can, can do to control your potassium that are within your, um, and within your control. Number one is to consume a low potassium diet, understand what foods are high and how much potassium is included in those foods. The sec second thing that you can do is to have regular and frequent dialysis sessions, meaning if you're a Monday, Wednesday, Friday patient, not to skip any sessions because when you have dialysis, after a successful dialysis session, the patient's serum potassium is within that normal range. That's why it's so important to have frequent and regular dialysis. Also, certain medications can affect the potassium, but you may need to take those medications for your health. And so the things that we like to encourage patients to control is regular dialysis and making adjustments in your diet so that you can control your potassium level. Each month in the dialysis unit, the uh, nurses will draw the blood work from the patient and the dietitian will review the patient's potassium level. And finally, the last point of the video, is it possible? Because patients ask me all the time, can you die from your potassium being out of range? And you can die from potassium being too high. Patients have been hospitalized and patients have even died from having a potassium level that was too high. So I hope this video is, is not meant to scare anyone, but it just wants to alert patients and their families on the dangers of not controlling your potassium. And as I always say, I really appreciate you for, you know, staying tuned to the end of the video and please subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye.